Well, there's something never got. It's like, how am I just going to remember? I've just looked at that in your pocket. Today, it's good. So, when you wear your latest socks, you're really. What? When you're like, when, where are you going to do socks? On my day socks. Because I'm You don't have stuff for the week. I just get socks out. <laughs> Choose. It's just, it sucks. Speaking of socks. <laughs> Let me take them off. No, I'm actually just double checking something with Mike's and I think you, yeah. They're probably not right. They're probably not right. I uh, I just grab whatever. Are you one of those people? Yeah. Oh my god. They're, they're, in, the, they're in the shoes. Sorry. Okay, it's not they're in the shoes. shoes. They're in the shoes. How could you not have matching socks? I, I do, but they're not necessarily together. But then they're not matching. That's good. Yeah, it's girl matching. They're just with different people. <laughs> different socks even. Different people. <laughs> they might be with different people. <laughs> I, I might give them away. I better let this dude sock once. God knows where he is. He might be like, oh, I did it trades. <laughs> well, that, that sock shiny. I don't want that. <laughs> anyway, thank you to Team Ingame here and fans from the Van Guardian. Hello! Who is now our uh, plus one for this weekend. It was originally me and Faz coming here to compete in singles last year. However, due to various circumstances in Paris, we were unable to attend. So therefore, we've come back for teams with Yuri! <laughs> we're going full on competitive. I'm doing my, my Grand Blue deck, Seven Seas. You know, it's up there, it's up there. Yuri's going countering with Link Joker, yes, yes. And then we have Faz. We've I'm Flumpy! <laughs> Flumpy with the boobs. It's our new word, by the way, it's Flump. So yeah, that word will most probably come up quite a lot in this <laughs> in this weekend video. Uh, yeah, I, I, I'm taking a very strange turn with the boobs, so those of you who know me from my own channel slash podcast slash whatever the fudge I do. Uh, <laughs> Any more Facebook <laughs> stuff? Oh. Yeah, I think I'm just pure Facebook now. The cha <laughs> channel's dead, podcast is dead. This is part-time work with TNK. That's it, I'm just taking on to whatever kind of fame there's left. <laughs> He's just a fame leech. He's just a <laughs> There's something going on over here. <laughs> so yeah, I'm, I'm basically Bermuda only and I'm doing um, DP Bermuda or PD, depending on what one you want to say. If I do well, you'll see the list. If I do terribly, you'll also see the list. <laughs> it's hilarious. It's so long. <laughs> Good luck to everyone who writes that up on the, uh, the website. Yeah, I apologise um, in advance, Bushy Road. Oh, in advance, Kirk Hopson, Kirk Mr. Competitive, we need to win this myself. Basically, basically. Oh, look at you being all up on yourself, I'm going to write it on the deck list. <laughs> Every time we've discussed this, it's it's looking at the deck list, you always get the, the top tier deck, the other top tier deck, and then what we now refer to as the flomp deck. <laughs> the one that, the fans invented this word, so what is it first? It, it's basically a combination of the word flop, so it's the deck that you would flop with, and it's basically the bump deck, so you're just bumping it up to make your third number. So it's the perfect combination of flop bump or flop. Yes. What you about originally with the original teams? It was you had what was it? Don't MLB third deck. <laughs> so it was don't MLB flop. Last year or something something flop. Pretty much. Pretty much. I think last year was basically um, shadows. Yeah. yeah, it was pure shadows. Shadows was probably the best deck. Aquas. Aquas was probably one of the other decks, and then you had Flump, which happened to be Mega Colony, which is still Flump. But that's <laughs> how it works. It's not, it's really good, especially when people run like four grade threes. Like, oh look, I've met her. So if you can be met as much as you want, you can't find another <laughs> Great one. Great now. Although saying that, the invention of grade threes that actually do stuff without limit break or um, generation break is actually amazing now. I do like it. Mm. But yeah, there's also some. I mean, basically, uh, go back to what we decided on going with, I guess, would be the next step. Uh, what do you think? Start with Faz, actually. Faz, well, we've got to start with me, because I'm special. <laughs> well, to be fair, Faz, Faz literally said one day, you know what, forget all this multi clan thing. I'm fed up with all these different guys. I'm, I'm going to be passionate about one. You have to pick this one. <laughs> yeah, it's because it's amazing. <laughs> so I, I, I have focused purely on Bermudas, and by purely on Bermudas, I have played every single deck variation, every single build that there is possible. And I was really, really stuck because although I liked the idea of this time around of basically trying to focus on the prism aspect with the slightly new slash old, depending when you're looking at this video, uh, support that Bermuda's got in the first clan booster, it kind of gave them what they were missing, which was the grade two game. That's old even for this video. Even if it goes up tomorrow, that's old. <laughs> it's <laughs> only it's it's up tomorrow. We're in Pre July, it's the most recent set of Bermuda that there is. And basically, what, I've, what we kind of worked out when I was going through the testing and the decks and everything is that 
The grey two for prisms is absolutely lacking anything apart from Celtic. Celtic, Prism Princess, so the new one which is count plus one, return one to hand, draw a card, is about the only thing that's a decent grey two. Um, the rest of the deck is late game, the stride is absolutely amazing because it's just basically easy power con and everything like that. So I was trying to find a way to get really, really good cards and try mucking about with things and I was trying to shiny up the hell of the deck. That's when we come across um, Duo Joker, the new crit trigger, and that's when Mike was like saying, is there any way to abuse this? And it was like, yes, <laughs> yeah, there is. is. <laughs> yeah, there is. You need to use this card that's um, basically legendary duo prison or prison duo Nectarina, which is like the fights collection first stride that we had out. And then it was like, is there any way to combine the two decks of Prism and Duo? And the easiest way to say that is, fuck yeah! <laughs> There's like seven or eight support cards, which then brought a whole conversation duo. of why is there no eradicator brawler support? Yeah. Yeah, why is there? <laughs> yeah, why is there any Prism Duo? So we've basically created a Prism Duo deck that has fantastic mid game grade two pressure all over the place with a combination of Ronan and Celtic. Um, I've got options of going for a restanding Vanguard with Rhett or using Labrador for some pressure. With the Remover as well, so that's both active yeah. on Rive. So active on Rive, there's also the options of being able to abuse that Crypt Trigger, which you love <laughs> <Can> you <laughs> so much. Spoilerix. <laughs> you guys have to draw a perfect guy, so I can't cut the entire fucking field. One of them's going back to his hand and then he's going to copy it and get another perfect guard. On first stride, it's absolutely hilarious because you go basically stride, boosted by perfect guard, Roan Column for 16. And the and the basically Joker crit trigger down. It's like one of these is gonna hit. I'm going to add all my perfect guards in a single turn. <laughs> so I'm kind of just mucking about with that purely because I love boobs, purely because Bermuda, and I get to write down a deck list that goes across two different sheets. <laughs> it does. It's because it's just it's because it's black white. S P black S P white. <laughs> Rinse and repeat throughout. That's every like, that's like anyway, it's getting shorter because they're all S P. <laughs> That's it. SP my deck and it's fine. The thing is, I'm actually missing some SPs that would allow me to do alternatives, but I digress because that's horrible. Are you not using cards because they're not SP? Well, no. I... Don't tell me you have an option, just keep <laughs> them. No, I, I, have, I have banked every option. I've tried, the t I've tried your 10k vanilla aspect, which is also fantastic in one aspect, but also. Well, I still use it, yeah. It's a nasty check. Don't rewrite in that shape, fuck you. <laughs> I don't care that's the excuse, don't rewrite. I don't care if it flumps my deck even more so. Not rewriting. <laughs> Okay, my, my deck uh, for Seven Seas, Grand Blue is a deck that I've wanted to use for god knows how long. It's when I went to the first Nationals with, I shouldn't. But now they're, now they're actually different. competitive, they can do the multi-attack thing that I've been succeeding with Force with, but they also have draw power and the ability to drop and regain that field regardless of the consequence of losing the field. And it is a multi-attack format. Um, yeah, so with that, with that in mind, I've made it as consistent as I can. Chucked in four of you know the, the hollow one, four of the ruin shade, four um, what's the last one? The well, the switching out seven seas. So it's just it's focusing purely on that and drawing cards and things. Well, yeah, again, again, is a good card. It, maybe. It's count of lots two. This is cannoneer. Count of lots to revive. Count of lots to discard. It? It, it's two count of lots heavy. There's no way to unflip other than the right. perfect guard and starter, which I don't use. Because again, you could. again goes back to the deck list, which as and when this is all done. Hopefully we do well, so it's worth showing. <laughs> but yeah, um, it's <laughs> no, it would <wouldn't> well. <laughs> this is very much Aquaforce esque the way it plays, but it's far more resourceful and consistent apparently than Aquaforce. So it's one up to my my best deck I had. So I might as well use this. It's what the logic I've come to. Um, yeah, I mean that's that's my uh, all the plans that I own. I think that was the the best one. So that's what I'm going for. I don't understand how gears work, so therefore I have not used them because their time leaping thing is this just box. makes no sense to anyone. <laughs> that's it's, why it wins. <laughs> yeah, we, we honestly all don't understand how Gear Chronicle top at all. They're, they're a pure G focus, so until the support comes out about the G guarding, and things like we understand a bit more because you activate it, and then can stride and play GB2 and things or whatever. I, I, I don't get how they get any sort of real multi-attack slash field from time leaping bollocks because you're basically relying on four freaking cards all the time which is just stupid but then royals will top so screw it i just don't get how they work i, I, I just can't i prefer their retirement not their multi-attacking stuff so but when i went for the what what do you think of chrono fame and their new bind mechanic <laughs> It, all it seems to do is just you just bind it. It just goes. It's gone. 
Joe's team's revived. Yeah, it's just gone. Sounds incredible. No, I buy my stuff. Oh, okay. Your stuff still goes to the bottom of the deck, and I just bind it. It's like, it's gone. <laughs> it basically looks right. out a card for, what is it, 10k and a crit? Yeah, I don't mind that. Yeah. Quite a bit. Pretty big. But I won't lose Link Joker, because I like Link Joker. Yeah. It's when that mega colony you were just starting to go. It really was. <laughs> Basically, like, he likes the anti meta control deck, it seems. I like just my opponent not being able to do what they want to do. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, you, you want to play a game? Nah, you're playing my game. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of sadistic and masochistic there. It's like, mmm, welcome to my world. It's terrible. Um, but the, 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 the world of decks to consider, I mean, Aaron's, I mean, Aaron's decks we were quite happy to look into, but... Angles, think, Royal, Shadows, you know, the good ones. Yeah, the good ones that were Aaron's fans. Um, I think, at the end of the day, we'll play best with the decks that we actually own, because we know them well, and experience with them, and it's just passion towards the game, I guess, will come through, ideally. But, at the same time, I understand that there are, but they, they are top-tier decks, in a way. Or diamonds. But, at the same time, if you think about it, uh, you know, Link, Link Joker are just... Diamonds. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Like, I'll, I'll admit this on the channel. I lost in a Nurgle tournament with Touch of to a Nova Structure deck. A Structure deck. That Death Metal Joy swings for 20. It hits. It breaks barriers on my 9Ks. He <laughs> got a crit. I couldn't stop it. Oh, it's so, they're so bad. They're so slow. But anyway. The thing is, so I use now, so I great nature of being topping. I love great nature. I think it's really good. Why didn't you use those? Because you can grab a little bit. Okay. Great nature. Oh, I've got a more system. Yeah, yeah. I've got a great nature. Anyway, the, um, yeah, so hopefully, we'll do it. Oh, that was it. I was going to reference that. Because the problem with we had such a fun conversation and things about this. All the way here, but I knew as soon as we got here, it would be like, eh, it's not as funny now. But, for example, we're talking about positioning, because I like to work out positions <laughs> where we would go. This is in relation to card games, ignore the bed, kids. Ignore the beds and the fact that I'm recording. <laughs> I'm the middleman! No, he wanted to be the middleman. Eiffel Tower! He wanted to be the middleman <laughs> in, in our team for this card game. <laughs> but like, there's one flaw in this. You is more interested in other people's games than his own. He plays best at the end, where he can't, because you have a bad mentality, you look left and right and go, we've lost this, and then just purposely fucking lose. <laughs> no, purposely lose, I just don't play it perfectly as well as I could. There's, so, there's, so there's, there's, of, there's no point. I look on the end, and he looks at me, and he goes, trust the fuzzle, like, it's fine, he's doing well, <laughs> he's not flumpy. Don't lie to me, <laughs> don't lie to me. <laughs> just gonna have a fan of cards. <laughs> Oh, oh great trees! Oh great trees! <laughs> it's not that big. <laughs> if I can stride, I'm good. Because I mean, so basically, I mean, I think Aaron's looking at learning angels, or I would say moils. I guess. So can we just go back uh, to the so beginning from... of the conversation of what we did? Because I want to do the whole conversation because it's great. So you said to me that triggered this off was what in regards to the positions? What well, on the train? Yeah. Yeah. Whilst we was on the train, you said what? Um. <laughs> I, I said, I, 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 I try to try and work out, I, I, I try to work out where the, where people would more likely put their top tier deck is the point. And every year we've done this, and to be fair, this is a very crucial decision. Because you've got to think, are people putting their best deck against their best say, deck? Say, or the flop? <laughs> you say it's crucial, I say it makes no difference. It does. If I say I'm going second today, yeah, yeah. every person who's sat down in that second seat, unless they're cheating, yeah. It's going to be like, let's say in the first few games, like Royal Shadows Link. If I sit in. Why would it be Royal Shadows Link? Would that be the order? If I sit. Because they are in. Because I'm sitting against two, they'll be my opponents. So I'm sitting yeah. in number one, assuming they're following the rules, I won't be against those decks because they can't run the same in the same, in the same team. Yeah. So I'll be against three different decks or them in a different order. So they're basically. Now, the way that the conversation came about is you, you said they will put their strongest deck first. Or last, was I thought. First or last, so it means it's either in position one or three. So basically... Well, well let's say what we go with. Let's say what we with. Cause to say the conversation, let's say what we summarise. Yeah. So basically, you was going that it will be, number one will be the best, number two will be whatever, number three is the flomp deck. <laughs> but what will happen is that some people will try and position up their first deck against the flop deck to have a better... Flop. Flop deck to have a better chance, which means that the order, instead of being 
best middle worst will be worst middle best, which is basically completely anti, completely going against it. So those that are doing it best worst, best to worst, are going to suddenly create a new trend of being from worst to best. It's the complete opposite. So basically, means, so you then have to go back on yourself to say, well, if the third deck's going to be if the worst deck's going to be first, I want my best deck to be first. But what I'll then do is move it to the middle. What we kind but of work out... You could, but then it's, again, it's, it's the point that you can... You've got to decide, even if you work this out, whether you want to go flop to flop. <laughs> 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 or flop, flop your way to victory against a better deck. So you can work... So we're going, I won't say what we came to, because I'll probably use the same system <laughs> that we worked out. I think it might work. This is going to go terribly wrong. It makes no, no difference. It does, it does. It really does. You might as well literally just get three dice and go right. It's, you're going to be the, the you're going to be the white. You're going to be the black dice. Anything. You're going to be the white dice. You're going to be the green dice, and we'll go in that order and just literally roll. And that that's probably the best way to do it because we looked at the lists and it's just basically like someone's got every single deck list and just shotgun them out. In certain places, <laughs> in place. touchy colours. It was a bit for God's sake. I know, but we yeah, said, we said that was the front. This is for watching this. That's like he's playing in France today. Like, hey, I'm playing touchy colours. It was fun. Wow. Wow. Oh, 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 oh. Let's is that a no? That's that a, a, that's a no. That's that's it. It's up to the French, Probably, I guess. <laughs> French community right there. <laughs> I can pretend to walk away. There's no attempt to walk in this room. <laughs> no, I can't get past the camera without knocking it. <laughs> you have to suffer. There's no stand off right. camera. Right, so that's the place we're running. Uh, we expect to see probably typical... Shadows, Royals, Angles. Shadows, Royals, Angles. Link. Think, yeah. Gears. Basically, no, no, yeah, what you've seen everywhere else. Grand Blue. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now they want to the start a new Come on the Philippines. <laughs> Why does it have to be the Philippines? It's not the Philippines. They're great. <laughs> I don't know, it's anything over there. They've got OTT going out there. Oh yeah, I forgot OTT was involved. What was the other, there was another random deck, I swear we had a look through. Was that it? No, No, we, we saw Pale Moon. Oh yeah, there was one. There was a random Harry Pale Moon as well. That's a tilling joker. Here yeah, now, here yeah, now. Don't give them the count of blasts. They all splash out. The thing is, it's not even the good version, it's just that the Harry is the worst version of the Power Moons because it's so inconsistent. I don't understand how it was victory. Now, inconsistency is Nightmare Downs. <laughs> yeah, that, is, that is horrible though. I just take it, take it, take it. I've got six attacks here. What are you going to do about it? It's alright, it's not like they're big numbers 21, 21, 21. 21. <laughs> oh, you got it, 26. <laughs> what? It goes up by 5k if you got it. Yeah, I never understood that one. <laughs> because it, cause the grade 2 comes out to switch out for a unit yeah, yeah. it's 5k. <laughs> so if you, if you no-card it, it gains more power, I think. No, it's if you card it. If, okay. if you let it through, it gets more power. It's one or the other. I forget because I hate it. I would Actually, you're it. just stuck in this situation. Um, anything else? Or oh, should I just end it there for now? Oh, I think we're going to have more than enough entertainment for... Tomorrow evening. <laughs> it's hoping. <laughs> <laughs> we lost the first two rounds. We just we we went to see that tower. We, we were his first. His fans in the front of the upper tower. It's oh no, you're his girl. You have to go. <laughs> and curiosity, just so I can preempt something. Normal Vanguardian tradition would be after a major tournament is to partake in some kind of recording whilst under the influence of certain... <laughs> that's, that's, that's always been, been our thing, at least. So we, we, do, we have other people join, which we won't. <laughs> so, because we can't. No, no, we've got some people in this hotel that are only on clay. Oh, yes, yes, we do. Yeah, we could do. Yeah, we'll do that then. Yay! Monday. <laughs> yeah, we'll see, we'll see how they play their cards. Yes, and we'll see how we play our cards. <laughs> if, they play, <laughs> if they play better cards, they ain't coming in. You know, it's come through 30, we may just go, scrubbed, fuck it, night. <laughs> <laughs> Just recording all us face down in the bed, just like ah! <laughs> pillow can't take the tears. <laughs> and the plus side, we get to play twice tomorrow. Yeah, we really get to play that. Do we do have decks? <laughs> but we never get to play them. Good enough. Play very good. And vice takes freaking ages. <laughs> yeah, if you'd like actually just one random vice game on the. So our team in game channel, please comment below and like tremendously. Because <laughs> we're, tem we're tempted to, but the problem is we want to be Vanguard, like, yeah, yeah, 
proper banger of general. We don't want to, if we start including other things, we'll, you'll think we're starting to whore yourself out. To be the, <laughs> the more blunt way. It wasn't the downfall of the Vanguardian podcast, I swear. <laughs> did you actually record some voice games? What? Did you record some voice games? No, we, we, we moved away from recording podcast. Oh, it was like, podcast, 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 podcast. Oh, yeah, YouTube's this thing. YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. Oh, let's just do all these Facebook things. Fuck it. <laughs> yeah, well, we just, we just copy people's posts on the time anyway. Oh, so it's released. Share on our channel. <laughs> Yes. Why can't translate? <laughs> exactly. Job done. This is a picture. Yeah. Also, the amount of stuff that's basically pinched from. But we should we should really post more. But it's, it's the problem is people get to the comment the things first. Like this is released literally a minute later. It's up on the Facebook. Share on the Vanguardian. Share on other things. It's like we'll just share that. It's well, the same not, bit of information. Not everyone that's a member of Thirteen Endgame is a member of the Vanguardian. And another another. Ones that are shown yet. Yeah, so basically, give them give them a situation where everyone can just be linked to you. That's the idea. Yeah, yeah, but at the same time, we want to put in our own content as well. But, it's, but in terms of new cards, there's not really much we can do. So it's more we want to um, show all variety of content, like this, I guess, with Yuri in his pajama trousers. <laughs> the fazes are. Uh, uh, I'm technically in fazes pants. They, they he got, got his trousers. He got his pants <laughs> eventually, didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't take long for people to get into my pants. <laughs> you take your socks off. Yeah, I took them off. Why? Okay, but, uh, what? Yeah, yeah, so the man who was complaining about sleeping in socks, you're wondering why my socks are off. Are you sleeping now? No. <laughs> exactly. It will be soon. So it's more the point. Smell the cloth. Well, as soon as they got in, they literally just went off. Even <laughs> though I said we're recording, it didn't matter to them, apparently. Can um, you see my feet? No. I can. <laughs> that's the issue. <laughs> Very well, so that's us for the preemptive discussion. Um, and hopefully, we'll come back to you with a bit more information of how the day went and what we saw. And we'll make all we'll, fans, you need to make notes of your rounds because that's what we do. Oh, what? I don't. You need to at least make notes mentally. I don't. <laughs> you do. You went, I, I went against this and uh, yeah, triggered and yeah. I just like, I think I went against Am this. Am I allowed to just do scrub time six? If you, you can literally write, I want to get flumpy flump. <laughs> I flumped and they flumped me back. <laughs> that, that'll be fine. If you said you flumped and you flumped them back. I out flumped them good. If you out flumped them better, <laughs> would be fine. But we'll see. Well, so I hope you use the word kafumbly blow. <laughs> if, if you win. Yes. <laughs> a kafumbly blow is if you out, if you flump a better deck. <laughs> My you can, it, can it be a majestic fumbly <laughs> blow? Okay, majestic then, because yeah. it's a flump. <laughs> it's got nothing to do with Link Joker, but okay. majestic is just an amazing word. True, true that. So yes, we will catch up with you guys soon, hopefully. Vanguardian Podcast on Facebook. You're live. We know. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, so we're on the midway point of the day today. Um, in... Oh, Swiss. A Swiss, yes. Uh, as instructed, I need to apparently be recording this, so I've, I've, I've roped uh, you into doing this. Written. Oh, you've uh, I've, written I've, into it. No. I've, I've, written, I've written you into it already. Um, but yeah, so I'll go through our ones and then we'll just flip the fazes on the, on the camera, I guess, because you're not getting out of it first. Damn it! I don't like being in front of the camera. I'm not used to being in the public eye. Okay, so game one. Um, I didn't even say, I was, I was against Gears. I'm playing Grand Blue. Uh, as I believe I mentioned earlier, um, and the gear player. Out. The, the only thing is that the only really things to notice is that the ma I only really note the major changes that happened in the game. So in that game, the gear player healed twice during the game, and then double crit on his first drive check. That changed the game quite a lot because I went from three to well, sorry, two to five in the first stride. But other than that, I won. But there wasn't really any major changes in that. It was a time leapy deck, so that's about it. Uh, I was against Beast Deity and I was great luck. <laughs> so I went about as well as you can imagine and he had a liberate remover, so restanding niggles met. Uh, game and Faz, you gotta do game one? Uh, Faz, give it a move. Yeah, okay. Give it it's a gonna be a Time warpy! <laughs> Time loop! So Faz. Hey, hey! This is Faz. Thank you, Faz. <laughs> I played Bermuda, as we discussed, and it was my crazy variation. Mm -hmm. And my first game was against a Musketeer deck. And 
yeah, totally forgot that subclans could do something called a 19k column, <laughs> which scared the poop and nuggets out of me because basically, first thing he did was ride um, Pansy, so that was basically free plus out of nowhere. And then he calls two of the August, which are 12Ks. So he's doing 12, I have to guard 10, um, Vanguard boost for, I think it was 13 at the time, so no 12 because it's 7 plus 5. Seems a fun. Um, yeah, basically didn't take that, got crit, so it was just like jank, and then take the other one, so I'm at 3 damage at this point. I ride to my grade 2, try and put some pressure on, he basically just flumps it away because I've got dead hand of 3 cards, uh, three grade 3s. And yeah, then he creates the 19k column, and I'm like, oop, can't handle this. Rides into his grade 3, and I'm like, oh, okay, so let me work this out. Taking about 5-10 minutes to work out, or about 4 minutes to work out what guard I was going to do. So I literally had to do a guard, guard the um, rear guard for 12, pray that no crits on the vanguard, and pray that his 12k is just, oh, he's... 19 column is just 19 columns. Managed to do that, and then this is where the fun come out. Uh, basically, strode, went into the Bermuda bounce back of Prism, and suddenly, magically, I had big column and equally big column. He let my Vanguard hit, which I double crit, uh, no, single crit healed, which was fine, and then I had 36. This is going on a while. There's always one. There's always one. There's I'm sorry that I'm giving the important bits. Basically, he perfectly. It was all important. <laughs> it's all important, Roger, because I got to basically go. SP Olivia, and he went, good game. Yeah. <laughs> Except for it was the most tedious drive check I've ever done. It was like, first check, nope. Second check, nope. I need a crit. Third check. No crit. No crit. <laughs> so it's basically, in summary, it's crit for game, we're all on age. It was freaking annoying. Yes. Anyway. But if you're playing 9Ks, be careful of. Jesus. Okay. Okay. okay, so game two, um, I was against Shadows. I hate how my ones are always the triggers that I'm describing my game, but this one was definitely trigger mine. So you don't focus on the triggers of the game rather than the mechanics? Because there's nothing more to describe in this game, at least. Because you went right grade one, attack, crit. I was like, okay, two damage. Right grade two, attack. Well, no guard, because I just guarded the rear guard. I haven't got... <coughs> uh, let's do one to pass on the bank guard, there's no point. Gets another crit. Like, <sighs> you didn't do one to pass. Because I didn't do one to pass. And I was like, I have to take a risk on the grade three. Gets another crit. I was like, just... just. <laughs> And he was like, fair play, he was just like, do you want to another game, or, you know, I thought this and that, so, he was, he was a nice guy, so, he didn't actually want to do that, if that makes any sense. He didn't want half, to win. Half of him didn't want to do it, but he wanted to win, of course he wanted to win. You're a bizarre little fish, my friend. He was a bizarre little fish. Uh, I went against Namakami, and they were great luck, <laughs> so I won. <laughs> and okay. Mikey told me, and then, after that, Mikey nudged me earlier in the day on the... You should probably go for control over Niggles. But I, d I, I didn't realise the extra attacks were involved. And then with the, the I won one. anyway. So I was like, "What are you going to say?" I was like, "Go." I was like, you "Just why did you go?" But no, it's fine. You went into the thingy bomb. You, you went straight. I looked at me. I was like, <laughs> he was like "Just rich." I was like, <laughs> but "I was like, what the hell?" But no, it was it was the right option. At the end of the day, you didn't have to guard regardless. But it was you had the better option. It's fine. I didn't tell about the extra attacks. Give me the camera first. <laughs> now we start the two no, minutes. Faz. <laughs> Faz is going to be 30 seconds. I got a Bermuda mirror match. Okay. I confused my Bermuda player. Okay. By having duo, prism, prism. And okay. he was like, okay then, so that's prism, duo, prism. Fine, let the vanguard hit, which is Rome. And he's like, you don't have any duos on the field. That's fine. So I do my count blast, get three pluses, and from there he's completely confused. He goes right into his Legion card, tries to Legion, doesn't have any of those mates back, has already dropped the perfect card to try and clone, and he's like, I'm done. Can't do it. Mind games with Bermuda! <laughs> okay. Is that short enough for you? Yeah, yeah. And uh, last game, um, I was against Royals. Now, the thing about Royals, <laughs> not everyone does, but you really should. You just have to take the risk. Their Wingle is their... They're Conro. You know, there's their, their key card, they need it. So if you tend to one to pass their, their Vanguard, which is Blast Lady or whatever, um, then you can stop them searching that grade 3 MLB and get them the extra soul for six over. You know so I literally went 10 ones to pass, got nothing. 10 ones to pass, got nothing. I had to G assist to one. Um, but other than that, yeah, I just maintained control throughout the game. So that was pretty much it. He couldn't do anything. Stalled out a bit, but as soon as he'd seen that his team had, had won, <laughs> for the next conversation <laughs> he stopped so that's fine this is why you should have went last then I give up you're in Tough uh, <laughs> direct focus on you now when he had Zach Force, they had the perfect grade 2 ride of yeah. ride something drop 2 titles and I was great so after taking 5 damage of which was no triggers 
I didn't. I drew a trigger, weirdly enough. Um, but yeah, I was done. I couldn't even. I tried the G assist, didn't even work. So <laughs> look away in disgust. I always hate them. I always hate them. Yeah, well, it's double title. What can you do? You got a crit on it as well, apparently. Yeah. So you set the Vanguard first and crit on it, which is more risky because if you get a crit, if you get driven on the Vanguard, then the title doesn't do its job. Yeah. You guys are on table ten, Bob. And the last one. We're on table six. Do you know the table that actually have a ranking? No, no. I find, I find it so weird that we lost one game. Cordy. Oh, you're recording now. Yeah. yeah. And the last one first. Yeah. Run up. One sec. Mo, come here. What's up? Just come here. Come back here. About this height. It's Mark the camera. Hey. This is Mo. He'll be on later. So. <laughs> and the last one. So yeah, basically I got to play my favourite clan in the whole wide world, Shadow Patterns. It was the Revenger Raging Form build where you basically tech in loads of temp pluses that aren't temp because you kill them off. Anyway, short story, I got early crits, he got late game power. I did not have the ability to boost anything, so I ended up losing. <laughs> so I'll go home now, I'm sorry, I'm sorry I let you down, Aaron. <laughs> so yeah. Please so let me stay! So it's currently 2-1, so moving on to the next three games, which will have an overall update later, I believe. Indeed. There's two Go random team. drinks behind us. Go team. <laughs> the button has been pressed. There is no going back. What? So, welcome to the Vanguardian section of this. Day's over. We're all a bit tired. A bit bummed out. Yeah. And... Uh, just to get it out of the way, just get get out of the way now. We didn't win or come top eight, so no pins. Because if otherwise, we will be showing off the pin. There would be pinage. There is no pinage. There is no pinage. There is there 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 is only all you can eat Chinese buffet sorrow wiping, which was good. That was lovely. That was amazing. Um, yeah, we're in Paris. Um, so what, we've got three games to catch up on. Yeah. So <laughs> there were there were some great games. There were some nasty games. Who wants to go first? Because I'm not allowed to do a long speech. <laughs> yeah, it's true. That doesn't, that doesn't change the fact that it's going to be a long speech, does it? <laughs> Frickin' does. Uh, the order in which you speak. So what? We came back from the thing... Yeah. We had one. lunch. We had lunch. They gave us a lunch break. It was very nice. Yeah. And they sat down, they, cause, and then next game. So, who was that against? I played. Uh, I went against <laughs> memorable. I went against goals. Now goals has confused us throughout the day. I believe it's not just me. No, it's got the new support in it, which you yeah, guys looked up a minute ago. Trial deck. But There's a couple of little bits for Unite, which it's just been it's been the lid. It's and that one. It's just been the lid. One. His deck can be vanilla. I don't get fully how they abuse the niggly aspect of the game at the moment, but they do have the power aspects. They've got yeah, that. Looks like they've got the um, card that's basically on boost if hits switch out. Oh, isn't it cool? It doesn't have to yeah. switch out. Yeah, it's oh, yeah, it's look it goes at the top. To soul. Soul. Yeah, move that into soul. Look at the top three and call one from there. I think it it, it probably benefits a lot the uh, old style of golds because I saw a number of like Azel scissors, so it's just a full field got a crit. Yeah, and there was a few legions, so it probably just benefits that sort of. I'm gonna call something. Anyway. Is that was the defensive aspects of when something's called into rear guard, uh, not rear guard, guardian circle. It's got the unite ability, so it's plus 3k, which means that your rear guards can go up to 12 in a defensive purpose, which suddenly means that shot you, my niggles aren't going to hit as much. Uh, uh, anyway, Mikey's yeah, game. Okay. Against so against Mikey's game is against gold, and you was victorious. Yeah. Makes no difference, does it? Nope. Nope. Not when we're playing with me and Yuri. The Gear Chronicles, I finally found out how they won, and it's you don't have a perfect guard when they go right in the clock. Which, by the way, a lot of Gear Chronicles don't even use blooming right in the clock. <laughs> Not these days, everyone's all about the time leap. But he just went right in the clock, attack, no perfect guard, crit, so I went to five. So I was like, great. And then he went next, next stage E. So okay, perfect guard. And then he got a stand trigger, because why not, on the on boot, uh, attack, if 4k, call out of grade zero. So he just went three crit triggers into soul, 31 to vanguard, you can't call grade ones or higher. It was a bad day. So I lost, I had like all control as well, which was the problem. I was like, oh, I've blocked him down, he's only got like one attack off. And now of course, because he gets power and I don't get a defensive trigger, so 
the centre first again, like, please, give me something. Yeah, and I started writing things down on a napkin. So, round three... Four. Four. Round four was against Bermuda Harmony. I confused him with my deck again. I confused myself for three turns without getting a goddamn grade three and was just grade stuck and couldn't keep up with the drives. I then had to pretty much ride into grade three to try and do anything and he decided to do ride stride afterwards and got six attacks off with speakers. I worked out that he ended with, he rode a speaker and then had three speakers that he was bouncing in and out of his hands. So yeah, that was an awesome time. Pulp. Pulp nuggets. So good one, Mikey. Another win on his belt. If it was singles, him and Mikey would be storming ahead. I'd be in the top eight. I'd be in the top eight. Right, so then we went to game five. So we kept playing because reasons. I uh, think Angels, which, which is the worst matchup. Reasons. Which yeah, the worst, is reasons. Which is the worst matchup I could have had. Um, but they couldn't stride, which was nice. So I won. There's the whole I ran grade three. Uh, that's right, so it's <laughs> It was just the response to my drop. It was like, well, I've got none. I have to ride to keep up, but I can't stride. Must be nice to have an opponent who can't stride. I went against the mirror. I went in a mirror match, but against the G deck of Messiah, and of course, Chaos Breaker can do <laughs> F all against that. And I feel your yeah, skills. I, I lock my whole field. Great. I unlock it, I get a crit. Well, I got nothing. My go? Okay, I lock your field. Sweet, my go? I swing back with a crit. So only so many crits I can perfect guard before it's like, just just let it happen. Oh. Uh, yeah, no, and he just kept perfect guard in my vanguard and my rear guard. Just, I, don't, I don't know why he, he was always on two, and I don't know why. He just was like, perfect guard, 10 10. I was like, well, yeah, fair enough. I, it just, I don't know. I don't know. It just happened. Uh, my matchup was majestic. I got to play Nuba Dharma and I thought, I've got this, guys. So we started playing. And basically, the whole game boiled down to four turns. And the four turns were his first drive check, he got crit. His second drive check, he got stand and got to basically niggle niggle. It's grade two, don't you buy it? And then grade oh. three. Yeah, grade one. Yeah. Grade one? Yeah, okay. Crit. Grade, grade two. two, stand. Grade three. I thought, psh, see him past, he's not got a booster behind that. He'll crit. That was fun. Uh, and he committed as well. Yeah, that was it. Doesn't he have a rear guard? He, he had a rear guard. That was the thing that pissed me off. I didn't even get any defensive triggers on this one. And then basically, the first turn he strides, he goes, basically, stride, and I'm like, yeah, attack with rear guard column, guard, attack with vanguard, no guard, stand, stand. Fine. I'd always be like, I hate it when they get stands when they want to get stands and crits when they want to get crits. Well, this is it. It's just basically there was physically nothing that I could. I've played that game in my head like six different times. There is no guard strategy or anything that I could have done. It was literally I'm here for my opponent's amusement, and that's what frustrated me. Okay, and then to, to, to just finish off this rubbish list of ball. I went against Touchy Kaze. And you got confused. I, I, I'm I, just going to check something. I, 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 I'm not. It's just, just a weird team engagement. It's just one card. It's just one card. What? The, when, when it kills due to Gorge Effect, resurrect. Basically, but it's not because of the Gorge Effect. It doesn't exist, as far as I'm aware. Yeah, it's just the, when it the, kills. There's an 8k. When it dies, you can cancel our Soul Blast bring it back. Yep. So it's just a hot. But everything pretty much has in Gorge. So it's like, I. I tap with the vanguard, it goes, it comes back. Tap with the rear guard, it goes, it comes back. Yeah. And it's just 11 every time. <laughs> it's yeah. 8, and then it's 11, 11. Little git went 8 to bang, 8 with vanguard. I was like, what? What do you want from me? That's 8. <laughs> and he was like, yeah. I was like, right? <laughs> I was like, my, my go then. Security. He was hoping you would go 5. My go then. Right, okay, sure. Oh, cheeky bastard. <laughs> But yeah, other than that, um, yeah, I've got a, a, I played the split crit for the game. Triple drive check, double crit, but crit power on the right side, and then crit power on the same side. 
is basically how it laid out. I think I did the, I did crit power on the powerful side, and now I power and then a little crit on the niggly side. So basically, he couldn't take any of the attacks, niggled no. or unniggled. Yeah, that little niggly one or the big one. It was weird though. He 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 should have survived that because for some reason he took the eleven, got a heal, and then was short on the big one. <laughs> I know. Look, he could have just guarded the nickel. But we're three. No guarded the bank. No guarded the big arm. Mikey, and survive with the Mikey, when we're two was. and three. Don't expect yeah. the top quality players. All right. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. Basically, if you're watching this random team, that we can't remember your scrubs. <laughs> Is that what you're trying to say? No. Learn to play. No. Learn to play before you get I, into I, a three three. I think it's the kind of I can't bother to work out. <laughs> when, you're, when you're three three like us. Yeah. 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 I think it's the part I can't bother to work out how powerful that is. Just give me a number. Oh, oh, I haven't actually got enough guard. Never mind. <laughs> don't even care at that point. Exactly. When you're two three, you don't come across on, the people on, on this, who are in the zone. On this one, you're eating right on my note. I just wrote flawless, apparently. It was. <laughs> that my that my game went perfectly. He went. He was OTT, so he had no booster, so it was just like normal Vanguard. Didn't have any 10 k so I was like, I'll take it. We we, I, we did the grade two story game, but I had two columns. He just had a Vanguard, so then he finally dropped a Tom. So I was like, sweet, I'll ride and lock it. Had world line, so perma locked it. Then I could go right. I locked this bit, locked this. Had him completely shut down. Had four perfect guards, so I was like. He just goes, all I can do is stride, swing, and I was like, sweet, perfect guard. Next turn, perfect guard. Next turn, perfect guard. All the time, locking him down. I was like, this is the best game ever. Why is it only when we're two and three do I get a good freaking game? Because that would be wrong if you had it at any other time. But it was the same with me. It was the first time that my deck has flawlessly just <laughs> yeah. went together. It was like, oh look, I, I appear to have... So I, Prisms and duos in my damage area. What a huge coincidence. Celtic Rome, Celtic. Grade 2 game, Grade 2 game. Oh, he's Rome to 3. Allow me to join him. Ride, stride, game. But somehow he just kept really low damage my opponent. He's Grand Blue player. He's using um, the new stuff rather than the 7 C's focus, so Cannonball and all that stuff. Nice. What's that 10 that's on you? No. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you get 10k's on the, as well. The Night Rose stuff. Yeah. So you went with that. Um, basically, just at the end of it, it just got to the point where it was like, oh, two, two, two and three. <laughs> Why? <laughs> because he's not at the right end. Did uh, he? Did he? Did he combo to make a beefy column? No, he didn't. He just he 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 farped constantly. He farped. To create another word. Farped is not creating a word. Farped is a word. Is it? Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, take your farp for it. <laughs> Thank you. So yeah. So basically. At the end of it, it was just basically Olivia, yeah, he'll take it, two crits on top of the two crits that Olivia had. And obviously, he went from two to four, and it was like, <laughs> yeah, sorry, two to six. And it was like, don't care anymore. Olivia is, too, Olivia is too much of a broken game, in all fairness. 12, qu 12 crit the Bermuda Triangle in a format where you can basically G guard, and your first stride can be Olivia. There is no negativity to this. It's just stupid. Yeah. But we don't rest, so we went 3 3. Yay! We broke even. Super yay! That's a point out. <laughs> Someone didn't break even. <laughs> the only game I lost in the day, I went a flawless victory, apart from the one game that, similar to Faz's game he just mentioned a minute ago, was grade 1 crit, grade 2 crit, grade 3 crit. I mean, there's nothing I can do about that. It's just general acceptance of meh. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just lucky he didn't double trigger onto grade 3, or else he would have been a flawless trigger of crits. Yeah, I yeah. So I couldn't take this, I couldn't take the. Oh shit. Already made it. <laughs> Game over. I think we, we all learned something about our decks. Uh, some of them good, some of them have got all matches, some of them are basically not the most competitive build and never were. I don't know. Yeah, it's like Mike was like, this was the most competitive build we could have done. It's like, no, I based this around just the grade 2 game and that was it. There was no further thought on that. I thought, I, see, the problem was, when I, I was there when this sort of concept came about and it sort of felt like, oh my god, it's genius. We have early, middle and late game in this deck. And every time I see him test it, either him or Aaron didn't have anything. They're like, well, I've got nothing. And then in the tournament, look over at Faz. Well, I've got nothing, guys. I was never Faz that had nothing. <laughs> I had basically my two worst losses were to grade lock, and that was it. The only two, it's my only two bad losses, and basically rapage from triggers. So therefore, you had a great day. My day was horrific. No, it you went, know, you got grade lock three times. No, 
my deck was working almost perfectly, so if I didn't get a perfect card, and then Gear Chronicle was like, lol. Although I would like just to say on record, it's all right to do the Grade Two game because if you can get away with it. But did one of us have to basically G assist the Grade One? I had to G assist two Grade One, yeah, but I still won, so who cares? <laughs> no, you only won because he was like, I can't be bothered to play this out. My two. Yeah, he literally. Lost. No, he lost. He, Look, he yeah. said, he said, I can't. His exact words were, I can't win this. Yeah, because, but yeah, I'm, I'm sure it could have translated to, you won, you won. Don't fucking care. It was you lost, you lost. I, I wasted my time. He I went three perfect cards out. No, he did two. No, he had three. There were three in that hand. I well, was like, that's something I have to say. Nick was, is it? Basically, this was this was the royal paladin guy that you shut down. Yeah. Well, I did shut him down. Didn't you I? did. You, you did shut him down, but I'm sure he could have basically just turned around and went, "Fuck this for Christmas." You're gonna try, but I don't want. Oh no. Yeah, okay, fine. You wouldn't want. But the important thing is that he folded, and scrubbed. But what, end up, what we kind of do know is that there were two teams that did go through to the top. One known as Team Mastercard, and one was the illegal Dutch something or other. The illegal Danish, wasn't it? Yes, the illegal Danish Brigade, or something to that effect. Mm. Really good guys, kind of like we're our new no, friends. No, don't you freaking don't. What? This is the, the, the scummiest deck you could ever think of. Like, yeah, well, it wasn't bad until I worked out. I was getting on with the material. I was like, so what do you play? I play Shadows. Oh, what about you? I play Gold. What about you? Royal! Right. It's up to a bad joke, isn't it? Yeah, fuck you! Shadow Royal and Gold walk into a fight. It's like the whole time we were like, oh, we were wishing them well. We only knew, we knew one of them was playing Shadows. Yeah. But we never really knew what the other ones were playing. But then, when we saw him in top four, I was like, that, that looks like, right, so that's Shadows, that looks like Royals, sure. Gold? They're doing all Paladins. Baz is not going to be happy. <laughs> Get into there, there's complete silence in the rooms, everyone's looking at the games and you're not allowed to talk to them and the judges, and I'm like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. go up to you, like, what the fuck is using the Paladins? Yeah. <laughs> Play them though, they came yeah. second, so they get travel because top four qualified. Yeah, top four qualified, top two travel, uh, top eight pins. And the winning deck was the Master Team Mastercard, which played Link, Royals, and something. I'm going to assume Shadows. <laughs> and Flump. And Flump. <laughs> that was the Flump deck. So, no, no, we didn't talk about the day. Like, event-wise, it was very well organised. Like, it was two sort of, um, there were quite big rooms. It was well laid out, nicely numbered. There was a completely separate room for just a chill-out gaming yeah. area as well. But And they had, uh, like, when, when there was 50-odd teams in there, they did split it up into two areas, which was great, because yeah. we were like, I'm not in this list, I'll go to the next list. Then eventually the team dropped out, yada yada. But the team, the rounds, they were like it's twenty minutes done, and then yeah, like ten or fifteen minutes to go through. But it just felt quick. Were there in the end? It was like fifty-seven, didn't we? We counted like fifty-three or seven. Yeah, there was like. uh, two. Yeah, fifty-seven. There was a two. There was a team that usually consisted of two people. We saw there was a two. Like we saw them, yeah. but they like the third member didn't show up. It's like, so are you still playing as a two, or are you waiting for, the, or is he coming later? You imagine that, though. You imagine it. Rigging what, top, top, top eight list, there's only two. <laughs> so where's the third guy? Didn't need it. Look at this list, does it look like we need another player? Um, that would be majestic. But yeah, it was just very, and it was just quick. So it was like, when you're done, they, were, they did come around and say, like, you're done, please leave. But and, there was enough room and area yeah, to leave. And, it wasn't like he was all muddling into a small yeah, area. And we could just go outside into the street basically but it was a quiet enough street and yeah. we were and then it was new rounds we all shuffled filed in and I, almost like a single file line look at the list table thing move through and it was just very quick it just felt like it flowed it was, yeah nicely. it was well organized i've got to say it's probably one of the best bushy road organized events that i've ever been to and that is from top to bottom in regards to registration it's nice simple in and out Giving player information, nice, simple, in and out. Yeah. Stopping people from hanging out inside the hall was nice. Yeah. Stopping um, basically too much going on, so there was that nice divide of, right then, we've got tables in here, we've got tables in there, you've got tables over there, it's chill. There was a lunch break, it's the first time I've ever actually been to a Bushy Road event, and there's been enough time for them to do a 45-minute lunch break. 
Because oh. everything else is literally you have 20 minutes in between two rounds. Go swallow a sandwich, old. Oh. Yeah, but it was, I mean, you could tell that, it's, so it's because the French, basically the French circuit do it a lot. They know how to get it done, basically. Well, they they, they, know they the, were prepared. They were like, right, in, boom, They off, know their venue. Team, like, boom. Boom. Yeah. They've got a system and it works. So. Yeah. Well, that's it. And it basically just shows what level of organisation if Bushy Road have. Because there's loads of complaints. If you look at the US side of things, they get complaints. Other European venues, they get complaints. The French circuit have actually tried and tested this. Yes, there was those teething issues at the very beginning that everyone's aware of. But afterwards, it's absolutely fine. And there hasn't been an issue since. The judging was spot on. I don't think that there was a single issue except for a guy having to be told how to use his own card. <laughs> In a better way, I think was one. Of the <laughs> it, it still won. But yeah, he called, he called a judge over and it. Just, it's like he's not. He's not. He's not letting me lock the card. It's like, well, you only have to lock the one. You don't have to lock two. It's like he's like, I want to lock his card and my card. It's like you can't. But I won it. You can't. So Fine, I win anyway. It's like, all right, you show him. That, that was weird. But no, like, I didn't hear any major like, oh judge, this went wrong or this or and there didn't uh, there wasn't any announcements of people have forgotten things or lost things. So people were just a lot better at being even themselves organised. I will also say something quite nice from a foreigner's point of view, considering that we're English in a French environment. Uh, they translated and spoke English very, very well and enough for us to be aware of what's going on. Yeah. It's more than you can, we'll, then we'll probably give them if yeah, they come over to the UK stuff. If you go to a UK event, no offence to the English. All you get is UK. Yeah, all it is is literally, welcome to the podcast, welcome to what <laughs> Podcast! <laughs> podcast. podcast. Welcome it's to dead fans <laughs> I know it's dead, I'm trying to resurrect you through this video. <laughs> welcome <laughs> to the tournament. Yeah, welcome to the tournament, These blah 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 blah. Any questions? No. Break. And then it's just like, and then like seven excuse me while I'm issuing non pas vous anglais, qu'est-ce que c'est? It's like, yeah, so on to the tournament. Yeah, good luck with what that. What I said was, excuse me, sir, I don't speak yeah, English. I didn't say fans. Well, last time I did something in a French accent, yeah, you got freaking offended. Yeah. No, that's because you said English in a French accent. No, you're yeah. in French in a French yeah, accent. Yeah, you just like you're taking the piss out of them. But also, I, it's just, unless you like experience it, go into, was it Nats last year, where it was, here's a round, and an hour later, here's the next round. And you're there going, really? I, and you're not sure like when the next round is. They ha Yes, they got better, but you still felt there's a long time. Here they were just like, right, next round, boom. Next round, off. Next there was round, no off. round zero. Yeah. Well, that's a benefit. That's a, that's a, <laughs> that was only you, that was only America. That was weird. No, that was over in here as well, didn't we? We had to, you had to do the split tiers. Please go away for 40 minutes whilst we do a uh, completely separate team, side menu. Like two years ago. Yeah, right? I know, but this is what I'm talking about. We've always had these problems with England. We haven't actually had a successful one. And then suddenly the French have just come out here and just went, this is how it's done. <laughs> but yeah, they were just, it was a nice place, nice environment. You just felt, it was just, it would run nicely. And there was food and drink on site. Yes. Which was just, this is always good. The hell has a virgin mojito? Wow. Apart from a child's game event. But seriously, <laughs> get away some rum in that stuff. Yes, let's just sell normal mojitos <laughs> at a children's card game event <laughs> to the children. Don't, Don't work there, Faz. Frozen daiquiri would have been fine. It was a warm day. It was. Oh. But yeah, lovely weather. I don't think that's pretty much it. It might be silent. Well, it's not. It's not it's, it's, there's it's, nothing for you to say. Probably, I'm, we've, I'm exhausted. We're exhausted of our opinions of it, really. Should we, sorry, we should, really should just turn the camera on when we're talking about it. But also, I'm just generally shattered. It's been a long, it's been a long day in a way. And, yeah. The company yeah. manager's already had a nap. That's also a way. <laughs> I'm present awake. Okay, then. You can go back to sleep. Okay. Me and Yuri will continue to watch Face Off. By the way, there's this weird thing... Yeah, oh my god, just... Okay, no, it's a nice... It's a nice conversation. <laughs> we'll see you guys later. <laughs>